Hi, my name is Marcia Taylor, and I'm with the St. Croix Seashell Society. And I'm here to give a presentation called Snails We Eat in the Virgin Islands. I'll be talking about two species. One is the conch shell, or the conch, which is the territorial shell of the Virgin Islands. And the other is a whelk, or the top shell. These are the two snails that are probably known best in the Virgin Islands because these are the two types of snails that we eat. Let's start talking about the queen conch. The queen conch is a large, beautiful snail that lives in the shallow to deep Caribbean waters. See the map on the right showing where it can be found. You can find adult conchs in the seagrass beds where they eat algae and detritus. The shell of the conch is made mostly of calcium carbonate. In fact, researchers are studying the conch shell's extraordinary strength and resilience in order to improve headgear and body armor. When the conch is mature, it has a flared lip and is lined with this beautiful pink interior. The conch is known for its long eye stalks. It has two, one on either side of the proboscis. The proboscis is how the conch feeds. It, its mouth is at the end of the proboscis. Conch also have an operculum at the end of its large muscular foot, which it uses in order to move on the bottom. Here is a video of a conch underwater using his operculum to move forward in a very jerky manner. Conch lay their eggs in the sand. After the eggs hatch, the larvae drift in the water for about two to three weeks and then settle to the bottom where they transform into a conch. Juveniles bury themselves in the sand, eating algae for about a year until moving into the seagrass beds to feed and grow. Conch enlarge their shells as they grow. A juvenile conch has a thin lip. The lip flares out and becomes thicker as they mature. The queen conch takes over four years to reach sexual maturity and reproduce. The shell of the mature conch has a well-formed, thick, flared lip that gets thicker as it ages. Conch can live over 20 years. Some of the predators of conch are rays, octopus, lobsters, and sharks. But the biggest predator on conch are people. That is why in most areas in the Caribbean, conch are being overfished. In some areas, they are considered locally extinct. There are severe limitations or even bans on harvesting conch, depending upon where you are. Conch are large, they move slow, making them very vulnerable to predation. If you find a shell that looks like this, you know that it's been harvested by a human. Fishers know just where to put the hole in the shell so that they can insert a knife and cut where the animal attaches to the shell and then pull the animal out. Conch meat is delicious and is eaten in the VI in many dishes such as conch salad, conch fritters, conch and rice, conch pâté, just to name a few. In addition to using conch as food, conch shells have been used for many things. <clears throat> they have been used for centuries for decorations, tools, jewelry, cookware, bait for fishing, and even as musical instruments. The spire or the very tip of the conch shell can be cut off and the remaining shell used as a horn. 
the St. Croix Seashell Society is hoping to start a conch shell orchestra in the near future. Because of their delicious meat and many uses of the shell, conch have been overfished and their numbers are quickly decreasing in the Virgin Islands. Fishing regulations set size limits and limits on the numbers that fishers can harvest. The shell of the conch must be at least nine inches long or have a lip thickness of three-eighths of an inch. It is illegal to harvest or possess conch from June 1st to October 31st, which is the mating season. As a recreational fisher, there is a limit of six conch per day allowed to be taken, and those conch can only be used for personal use, not for sale. Commercial fishers are also limited by size and amount. Regulations, however, can be difficult to enforce. So that is our best known conch, uh, best known shell in the Virgin Islands. Now let's talk about the other snail that is also eaten here in the Virgin Islands. And that is the whelks, or some people call them whelks, or West Indian top shell. Whelks are thought to be the third most important invertebrate eaten by man in the West Indies after lobster and conch. They can be found grazing algae in the rocky coastline, generally in the intertidal or deeper in the shallow subtidal zone. Whelks have a large black and white shell. They have a round black operculum at the end of their body that acts as a door and helps protect them from predators, which can be seen here on the right. After the snail dies, land hermit crabs use the, the shell. In areas where whelk is fished out, there is a serious impact on the land hermit crab populations because these arthropods need empty whelk shells or some similar large shell to use for shelter. There are many dishes that are made with whelks in the Virgin Islands. Whelks are boiled and eaten. Um, they can be stewed. They can be stewed and served with gravy and beans and rice. They can be marinated in a ceviche-like ceviche dish. They can also make a very hearty, flavorable soup. Put into soups like callaloo, shown here on the right. They can also be served with cream sauce over rice or pasta. Overfishing has, it made, has made it difficult to readily find whelks. Because of their popularity as a food item and the problem of overfishing, there are territorial regulations to protect these snails. No collecting is allowed during their reproductive season, April 1st through September 30th. There's a minimum harvest size. Whelk must be at least 2 and 7 sixteenths inches in diameter. So I hope you've learned a bit about our, the snails we eat here in the Virgin Islands. To learn more about sea snails in the Virgin Islands, visit the St. Croix Seashell Museum, which is located in the St. Croix Botanical Gardens. Or come visit us on Facebook. Thank you.